Great. Well, I yeah, I was hoping we could chat a little bit about your science paper and yeah. um, sort of walk through the video together. Um, the technical part, we develop a technique which allow 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 you to see the uh, switching of the fire, fire electric memory at nano scale, uh, which will certainly help for the design of the future uh, fire electric memories, uh, especially when the size becomes smaller and smaller. So I guess to start off, I was wondering if you could just explain what a ferroelectric material is. Okay, so the ferroelectric material is a material which characterized by its electrical polarization, which can be reoriented by apply external electric field. That means if you use this as a memory effect for digit number one or zero, it will stay unchanged until you change uh, switched again. So that means we, uh, this is a non-volatile memory uh, device. What would you say you still don't understand about ferroelectric memory? Oh, I mean, the a lot of sub phenomena in a nano scale is not very clear. For example, when you apply electric field to switch the state of the memory devices, um, you don't know where the switching will st will begin, how the switching process will proceed when the uh, 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 and electric field, and also the long term stability of the switched region. That, in other words, data retention. So all these questions is not very clear. Um, if we understand the mechanism in the nano scale, and they can design better memory. Uh, so maybe we can start playing the video. So this um, this video is designed to show the phenomena of the ferroelectric memory switching. Um, first part using the. Uh, simulation done by my collaborator, Professor Long Ching Chen at Penn State. He built a, a theoretical memory uh, a, a schematic using a ferroelectric uh, thin film. So in this video, you can see the field distribution between the tip and the bottom electrode. And uh, you can see that nucleation is expected to occur at the bottom of the tip where the electric field is strong and then will penetrate through the film and then expand but, uh, horizontally. Now you can see similar phenomena and within electron microscope. And electron microscope, as mentioned earlier, there's a bottom electrode and also a top uh, electrode, which is a scanning prop. We apply 4 volts uh, voltage gradually from 0 to 4 volts. You see that a simulation, uh, in the simulation you can see that nucleation is happened below the tip, but now you can see the white small dot uh, at the bottom interface, which is unexpected. The nucleation continues at near the bottom interface, and then suddenly, and then uh, 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 merge, and then the whole region and this of the tip is switched. That means the state and this the tip is changing from one polarization state to another polarization state. So switch between zero to one, for example. Was this surprising to see? This is quite very surprising. Your models predicted very different behavior from what you ended up seeing. Yes, that's actually one of the important uh, uh, points of this paper. Because the, as mentioned in simulation, shows that the high field reading is right and the tip and the tip. But the nucleation happened below, way, well away from tip at the bottom in the, the interface between ferroelectric and bottom electrode. So this means that there is another factor to um, con determine uh, to control the nucleation of the ferroelectric uh, switching. What does what does all of this mean for for making very small ferroelectric memory? As the reviewer pointed, one of the reviewer pointed out. The, this paper um, provides a lot of surprise of the ferroelectric switching, the nucleating sites, the interaction with defects, the in interaction between domain war and uh, 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 interfaces. All these are uh, 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 surprising to the 
uh, well known um, understanding of the theoretical prediction. So these are issues uh, for uh, further scientific study and also important issue for uh, uh, engineer who design uh, future memories. Great. Well, thank you very much, Professor. Thank you, Rachel.